As we venture into the final saga of this legendary series, it's clear that the stakes have never been higher. This is where the mightiest of the mighty will clash and where characters we've long been curious about will finally take center stage. Among these towering figures is none other than Shanks, the enigmatic red-haired emperor. First introduced in the very beginning of the series, Shanks has remained a character shrouded in mystery, despite his growing influence on the unfolding events. With the story now steering towards the Elbaf arc, it's almost certain that Shanks and Luffy will face off in a battle for the ages. Today, we're going to explore the immense power Shanks possesses and how he might compare to Luffy, who has recently unlocked the full potential of his devil fruit and mastered all forms of hockey. Let's break down what this epic showdown could mean for the future of One Piece. Luffy's strength as of Egghead Island arc of One Piece, Luffy has awakened his devil fruit and has mastered all hockey types. When discussing the battle between Luffy and Shanks, fans will automatically compare the two. In terms of stature, both Luffy and Shanks are Yonko of the sea. This means they are both perceived as somewhat equals by the rest of the world, but whether they are genuinely equals remains to be seen. For instance, Shanks has been a Yonko for six years, but Luffy hasn't been one for even a month. These two have quite diverse war experiences, as well as perspectives on conflicts in general. While their personalities may be similar, Shanks and Luffy are ultimately different people who fight in different ways. As a result, their strengths differ, which will undoubtedly have a significant impact on how their conflict unfolds in the later half of One Piece's Elbaf arc. Fans of Luffy know that defeating Kaido was a significant step toward him becoming the Pirate King. Furthermore, Luffy has awoken the might of the Gomu Gomu no Mi, also known as the Hito Hito no Mi model, Nika. Luffy has mastered this power, and he now has a majestic body that can do almost whatever he wants. Luffy's only limitation is his imagination, which is also his greatest power. He can accomplish anything he wants while also liberating those who are oppressed, among other things. Luffy's devil fruit is currently his main source of power. Fans have witnessed how this devil fruit immensely boosted him during the Wano Country arc, allowing him to vanquish Kaido for good. At the same moment, at Egghead, Luffy defeated an admiral of the navy while also holding back an admiral and an elder. Truly, Luffy is a monstrously powerful pirate right now, and his recent performance clearly supports this. While Luffy's devil fruit powers are genuinely enormous, he also excels at using hockey. Luffy uses all three varieties of hockey, which he has advanced to a high degree. Luffy has the capacity to look into the future with observation hockey, cause internal damage with armament hockey, and, most importantly, inject conqueror's hockey to fully defeat his opponents. Overall, Luffy is a well-balanced pirate who is undoubtedly among the strongest in the world. Shanks' biggest powers so far in One Piece, Shanks is a monstrously powerful user of hockey. When comparing Luffy to Shanks, it is clear that Shanks does not use devil fruit. Luffy has some advantages in terms of physicality. Shanks is just a typical person. Meanwhile, Luffy possesses the devil fruit power, which greatly enhances his physical qualities. Shanks lacks the physical features that Zolans are known for. In terms of stamina, strength, recovery rate, and nearly every other physical metric, Luffy is undoubtedly the better pirate. Aside from his devil fruit talents, Shanks possesses other abilities that Luffy lacks, and this is where things get interesting. Shanks, as fans know, has only one weapon, his hockey. In reality, Oda has previously demonstrated his hockey to be fearsome, with the five elders drawing analogies to him. Furthermore, Oda specifically compared Shanks' hockey to that of Joy Boy, implying that Shanks is analogous to him in some sense, even if he is not as strong as him. Shanks is what Luffy lacks. Shanks' conqueror's hockey is clearly superior to Luffy's, and this will play a significant role in their future clash. Shanks will most likely show him what it truly means to wield the Supreme King's color and how this hockey is his only weapon in combat. Shanks will also demonstrate various ways to use the Supreme King's color. This essentially means that Shanks may demonstrate his capacity to kill Observation Hockey with his Supreme King color, severely crippling Luffy in battle. So far, Shanks is the only one who is using this skill. What makes Shanks even more intriguing is that he has yet to fully demonstrate his abilities. Shanks has rarely demonstrated his true abilities, and only twice has he shown a peak of his skills. The first time, Shanks attempted to subdue Admiral Greenbull from outside Wano Country. 
he sent his hockey from far away and still managed to harm and overpower him. The second time was when Shanks fought Kid and Killer outside of Elbath. He destroyed both of them with a single swipe of his sword, once again demonstrating his strength. However, fans may rest confident that Shanks has several formidable tactics under his sleeve that he has yet to unleash. This suggests Shanks may be at a higher level than Luffy, and his hockey is most likely on an entirely separate tier. In Egghead, fans could observe that Luffy's Conqueror's hockey isn't particularly amazing. Luffy was unable to recreate Joy Boy's ability to neutralize the Elder's powers while also dealing lethal damage to all of the Marines on the island. Shanks, on the other hand, made a clear reference to Joy Boy, which implies that he can accomplish something similar with his hockey. When Luffy and Shanks fight in Elbaf, it will most likely be a learning experience for Luffy, with Shanks dominating the encounter. However, in the end, Luffy will have to learn from and exceed Shanks, bringing his hockey to the next level and ensuring that his crew can go even further. As of now, Shanks is more powerful than Gear 5 Luffy. Summary and Highlights Luffy has awakened his devil fruit and mastered all hockey types, resulting in a balanced and powerful pirate. Shanks, a non-devil fruit user, excels at hockey, and his conqueror's hockey outperforms Luffy's, setting up a major showdown. Shanks has yet to demonstrate his true power, implying that he may be far stronger than Luffy and possess secret abilities. As we near the inevitable clash between Luffy and Shanks, it's impossible not to be excited about what lies ahead. Luffy's journey to becoming the Pirate King has brought him incredible power and wisdom, but Shanks remains a formidable force, with strengths that Luffy has yet to fully understand. The Elbaf arc promises to be a turning point in the series, not just for Luffy and Shanks but for the entire world of One Piece. Whether Shanks will prove to be Luffy's greatest challenge or his ultimate teacher remains to be seen, but one thing is certain the upcoming battle will shape the future of the Grand Line. If you enjoyed this analysis, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more in-depth content on the greatest anime of all time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you think Luffy has what it takes to surpass Shanks, or will the red-haired emperor show us why he's still the king of the seas? Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep your hockey strong. Thank you very much for visiting the Mutual War Review YouTube channel, buddy. We hope you enjoy our review analysis. Don't forget to subscribe to continue joining us on our joyful journey in the world of anime. If you have any wishes, questions, or suggestions for our next videos, feel free to express your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for your support, and until we meet again. See you next time, buddy. What is One Piece anime? One Piece is a manga and anime story about a young boy named Monkey D. Luffy who wants to be the king of the pirates in the world. As a child, he eats a devil fruit, a strange plant that makes him able to stretch like rubber. Before the show starts, Luffy goes out into the world for the first time and starts to gather a group of pirates. The main group grows over time, but it starts with Luffy, Nami the Navigator, and a swordsman named Rorano Azoro. At some point, Luffy and his friends are known as the Straw Hat Pirates, and they go on many exciting adventures across the ocean. One Piece is a lot of fun because it's silly. Luffy goes from island to island around the world in the series. Each island has its own setting and theme. It's a pretty fantastical world full of animals that look like people, live skeletons, and other delightfully strange things. Within moments the group is in a winter scene, and the next they are on a tropical island full of giants. The show is full of silly and bright details. For example, Zoro holds a sword in his mouth, a scary military boss wears a cute bulldog hat. And people don't use phones to talk to each other instead, they use special transponder snails that can send and receive messages. Luffy is a carefree person who just wants to eat a tasty meal and laugh at bad jokes. Even though there are some funny parts in the series, a lot of One Piece is about freedom. During his travels, Luffy often takes up guns to help his friends and encourages others to do the same against pirates and government-backed military occupations. The characters in Luffy and his crew get stronger with each fight, which is typical for shonen manga. A lot of the story is about how Luffy beats a problem that seemed impossible to solve and finds some kind of secret power. After each fight, Luffy and his team get stronger and move closer to his main goal, which is to find the One Piece. Why is it called One Piece? 
the first part of both the manga and the anime shows that Pirate King Gold D. Roger is telling the truth about the mythical wealth called the One Piece. One Piece is the name of the show because Luffy wants to find the One Piece and become the next Pirate King. One of Luffy's main goals in the show is mentioned in the show's title. What is the One Piece? The answer to this question is still one of the biggest secrets in the series. It's been more than 1,000 episodes, and we still don't know what One Piece is. We know that the One Piece is the name of the treasure that Gold D. Roger collected on his travels because of details in the manga. We still don't know a lot about the treasure, though. There are a lot of ideas from fans about what the One Piece is, but we still don't know what it is or even if it's real. The One Piece could just be the friends Luffy makes along the way.